Southeast Asia is my favorite travel destination on earth. And one of my favorite places here in Southeast Asia is an intriguing Indonesian island, potent with personality and deep in character, rich in history and vibrant in culture, a place where every sense is stimulated and the mind expands with beautiful lessons for life. Come and explore with me the beauty of Bali inside and out. This is an amazing entrance right here. Check it out. Adventurers, explorers, photographers, and surfers. Divers, hikers, bikers, and backpackers. Families, honeymooners, and solo travelers. Bali has something for everyone. The climate is warm and humid year round. Endless summers with average highs in the 80s. It seems like Bali has it all. Pristine beaches, lush landscapes, steaming jungles, cascading waterfalls, abundant fields, towering volcanoes, singing streams, stunning cliffs, powerful waves, delicious food, captivating artwork, rich cultural festivities, intriguing religious ceremonies, and that unmistakable laid back way of life, and some of the best diving in the world. The breathtaking island of beauty is a dreamy destination. Due to the small and congested roads, the best way to get around this island is by motorbike. This is how the locals do it. The benefit of the bike is that you can get around traffic much more quickly and efficiently. But the drawback is that you're now exposed to all the nasty elements of the outside. Not only the dust and the dirt, but also the vehicle exhaust, pollution, stinky sewers, and other foul scents you can imagine. Though Bali is pristine, tragically, it's also polluted with plastics. But one thing I notice about my time spent here in Bali is that despite the stinky scents of everyday life, the smell of the atmosphere is mostly sweet and fragrant. And this is true everywhere you go. Bali is an aromatic oasis where the nose is not neglected and breathing is a blessing. But what is the source of the sweet aromatherapy in the atmosphere? It actually comes straight from the heart of the Balinese people who are so devoted in their daily offerings. Every day, usually in the mornings and evenings, cultural and religious offerings are placed at the entrances of every home and every business and pretty much everywhere you go. These fragrant offerings consist of rice, flowers, fruits, spices, and burning incense placed in a tiny hand-woven basket made from leaves. These offerings can be spotted in every crack and corner of this island. As the incense rises, so does my gratitude for the sweet sense of life. Every day, the fragrance of Bali is always sweet and pleasant. The aroma of the atmosphere in Bali reminds me of the realities of life living in this broken world. Not everything in life is foul, and not everything in life is fragrant. Life is usually made up of a mixture of both fragrant experiences of joy and laughter, but also the foul experiences of sadness and sorrow, the pleasant aroma of love and truth, but also the nauseating odor of injustice and selfishness. You see, it doesn't matter who you are. You cannot escape the various scents of your surroundings. Both the sweet and the sour smells of life affects everyone who breathe in its atmosphere. Such is the case with the highs and lows of life and death, the valleys and the mountaintops of tragedy and triumph, the light and the darkness of failure and success. Life is made up of both, the tasty aroma of delicious food, but also the foul smells of rubbish and waste. Now there are two ways we can respond to this reality of life. We can either complain about the stench or we can appreciate the sweet. We can gripe about our problems or we can count our blessings with gratitude. If it wasn't for the presence of the stench, many would not fully appreciate the fragrance of the sweet. It's going through the hard times that makes us more appreciative of the easy times. And so, let us learn from the unpleasantries of life. We cannot ignore the reality that many times life stinks. And although most of the time we can't change our stinky circumstances, there is something we can do to make it better. Just like the people of Bali, we can light up the incense of prayer, prayer that rises to the heavens. Now, prayer may not remove the stench or change the circumstance, but rather it gives us the ability to see it and smell it differently. 
Prayer helps us overcome stinking thinking, and it gives us a positive perception to every foul and fragrant experience of life, both the smelly and the sweet. But besides the incense of prayer, just like the Balinese, every day we can present a sweet-smelling life offering of love, humility, and gratitude. For when we learn to live in love, give in humility, and be grateful in simplicity, our lives become a sweet fragrance in a foul world of pain and sorrow. We can be the answer to our own prayer. Our positive perception to all the various sense of life can permeate the atmosphere and inspire those around us. This is the experience I've had with the beautiful people of this place. The Balinese are some of the friendliest and sweetest people on earth. Their daily offerings are a reflection of the sweetness of their love. Their history, culture, art, and influence are things to appreciate and celebrate. Their smiles and their kindness are things to emulate. So come if you can, but always remember to love where you are. Open your mind and your heart to those around you, both strangers and friends. Listen in order to learn, and do so with empathy and non-judgmental ears. And let everything you do be done with love, for this is the sweet fragrance of Bali. It is the sweet smell of love. Today, may your life be the offering and may love be the fragrance that makes the offering known, felt, and even smelt wherever you go. What other lessons can we learn from the beautiful island of Bali? Please share in the comments below. And when you have a minute, please check out the rest of our episodes shot all over the world. Each is unique and special. A perfect dose of captivation, exploration, and inspiration for your day. See more episodes and partner with us at the website below. Your monthly pledge will empower us to continue creating life-changing content for all. If you'd like to join me on an epic excursion in Hawaii, or create some meaningful artistic imagery, or perhaps vibe to the musings of some meaningful conversations, or see more of my incredible views of nature and life, check out my other websites here. And of course, please connect with us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you for your precious time, attention, and support. Aloha always, mahalo, and maranat.